Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to some more LS PDFR. Today we're going to be uh, rocking and rolling with the Los Santos Sheriff's Department today. It is a pretty miserable day here in the uh, in the county area. We've got a lot of rain, got a lot of flood alerts going on right now, as you can see on some of these roads here. Um, definitely getting a lot more rain, but you know what? They need it. Let's make sure that we are uh, available for calls here since we are now on duty. But at any rate, guys, uh, thank you for joining me for another LSPDFR uh, patrol. Um, I'm just back here kind of checking out some of these back dirt roads. I like to kind of stop in and check on some of these uh, county areas from time to time, make sure that there's, uh, you know, nothing illegal, no bad activity going on. Sometimes you'll get, oh, there's a chopper over there. What in the world? Why is there a chopper randomly? I don't think this guy realizes that you can't just like land choppers. Hey man, it's next level time. We're going up to knock on heaven's door. Wait, what? Okay, um, sir. I don't want to start parachuting. Can you like? Can I? Have you ever been able to pull over a uh, helicopter? <laughs> Uh, you're not supposed to be landing a helicopter in city limits here. Um, can you get out of the chopper for me, please? Sir? Alright, here, maybe I'll have to try this. Sir? Oh, hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? What, what are you... Why do you have a gun? What, who, what is this? Get on the ground for me, real quick. Let's figure out what's going on here. What in the world? Okay, we're gonna try and get up along the side of this guy here and make an arrest and try to, uh... I can't even arrest this guy. There we go. Alright, Shane Young. Alright, Mr. Young, come on over here for me, uh, real quick. It looks like he's wearing, like, official, like, government, like, uniforms and stuff here. Like, L... He's got an LSPD uniform on. Um, and he's... But why are you landing here? Let's see if we can figure out something along this guy here. Shane Young. and see if we can pull up anything on him. License is valid. No active warrants. All right. Um, looks like everything is coming back okay. Uh, Mr. Young, we're going to go ahead and uh, release you. I didn't realize that you were doing, like, some weird undercover work or something along those lines. But it was just kind of strange that you randomly just are out here all by yourself uh, flying... A helicopter. Attention all units. Citizens report criminal activity in Santiago State Mountain Range. Units respond code 2. Alright, so it looks like we've got a possible hooker. Her name is Laura Davis. So we're going to go ahead and respond code 2 to this one and uh, figure out what's going on here. I've yet to um, actually be able to get the hooker calls to work uh, short of just, you know, kind of role playing my own situation where I just check up on hookers that are in the street area, but it looks like there is a possible hooker. It's actually looks like it's sending us back into the city. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go code 2 low to these, and that just basically means we're just going to go code 2 with no sirens. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop on up here, and looks like the uh, hooker activity is just up here along the side of the road. But yeah, that was very strange. I feel kind of bad for, you know, detaining an officer, an on-duty officer, but I just would rather be safe than sorry. It's kind of strange that uh, he was having a helicopter. Alright, so she's just chilling up here. Alright, so we're going to kind of hang out right here. No idea what she's doing. I can't quite get a good view over there. So we're going to pull up a little bit more um, and see if we can't, uh, there we go. Let's just stop right here and see if anything happens with this hooker. I'm going to try to turn around if I can and see if I can get a better look from the other side of the street here. Alright, so she's just kind of standing in the middle of the road. Maybe she's like waiting for somebody. So 
So what I'll do is uh, maybe we'll just kind of cruise right over here. And I'll just park right over here along this bush line here and see if anything happens with her and see if anybody actually goes down there for her. Like I said, maybe she's just waiting on somebody. But there's no vehicles that are uh, heading over that way, which is kind of strange. Yep, none of these vehicles are turning down that down that street there. Like I said, it's very strange. Like I've had this uh, this hooker call in the past, um, but nothing has ever happened with it before. Let me see if any of these. Nope, that vehicle's not going down there. That truck is not going down there. All right, so I'm gonna kind of cruise down over this way here. Watching out for all the little tree stumps here. So I'm going to pull in right behind this tree here and see if anything happens with her. I'm still not seeing any vehicles that are coming down this road to come pick her up. So worst case is we'll give her another minute or two and see if any cars come down here. But like I said before, I've yet to have anybody uh, pick up these hookers. Maybe I have to like drive past her. We'll see if that makes a difference or not. I don't know, we'll try that. We'll just pretend like she's just, you know, just chilling there. And uh, we'll just play it off like we didn't see her. And then we'll come up here and stop. But as of now, I'm not seeing any activity with her. So we'll probably end up just ending the call. I've seen other people that have the same uh, plug-in. Let's see if this guy does anything. And nope. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're finished with the call. Roger. Proceed with patrol. All right, so we're just going to proceed with our patrol here. Um, like I said, I've, I'll have i try maybe doing the hooker call another time again, but for now, uh, they're, just, uh, they're just not really working all that great. So at any rate, um, we're going to continue our patrol out here in the, uh, in the county area. Unfortunately, it took us more down into the city. So we're going to go ahead and try heading back more into the county area. Okay, this guy uh, failed to do a full or complete stop here. He kind of just did a California roll, as some people will put it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, run a plate check on this guy. See if anything comes back on him. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a 1099 in uh, grapeseed suspect's license plate. Four, six, Robert, X-ray, Paul, one, one, nine, no, 1099. All right, so no 1099s came back on that truck. Copy that. Moving right now. Um, Four, respond code two. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, let him go for that stop sign because we have an officer requesting uh, backup, which takes uh, priority. So we're going to go ahead and uh, code two over to this backup call. We got an officer just right around the corner here that's requesting an additional unit. So we're gonna respond code two to that and uh, offer him the backup he's needing. Okay, let's see if we can't get the uh, freeway to stop here for us. Thank you guys. So it looks like the officer needing uh, backup is just up here on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and come on over here and flip a U-turn here. Oh, okay, so this guy is uh, gonna stop for me, so thank you, sir. All right, let's go ahead and make contact with this officer here. Oh, and he took off. We have a possible 148 in grapeseed. All right, dispatch, uh, go ahead and show us code three. Uh, we're in pursuit of a black sports car. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, we just uh, arrived at the scene for the, uh, the backup, and uh, he ended up taking off on us. So we've got ourselves a, a black sports car. Looks like it's occupied by one person currently. I'm currently taking secondary on this uh, stop. What are you doing? Let's keep it going, dude. So he's currently uh, primary position on this pursuit. So we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can't take him down 
just the two of us here. Oh, he's taking some back roads here across the bridge. So this black sports car is now heading north on Catfish, sorry, eastbound Catfish View. We're out in uh, Mount Gordo, uh, Blaine County area. Uh, he's trying to do some high, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. He's doing some high rates of speed here. Oh no, and this, our primary officer just rolled off the canyon road. He is down there stuck. All right, I'm gonna have to get some, uh, We're going to get a uh, air support so we don't lose this guy. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another state patrol unit out here to assist us with this one. So it looks like he's got himself a dead end. Okay, we're going to try and block him off. All right, she has stopped here. Okay, she's getting out. All right, dispatch, we're heading north on Catfish View. Uh, we are on foot. Oh, she tripped and fell. Stop, stop, stop. Get down, get down, get down. We're going to have to do this the hard way. Get on the ground for me, ma'am. Thank you. Stay put. No sudden movements for me. All right, dispatch. We've got the uh, suspect in custody. We've got ourselves a rose hammer in Attention. custody. This is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. All right, we're going to go ahead and run her name through the database and see if anything comes back here. She is wanted by the LS... SD, so the uh, Los Santos Sheriff's Department. So she is, in fact, wanted. All right, Miss Hammer, I'm going to go ahead and search you real quick, make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. Um, is there any reason why you took off today? Found nothing of interest. She's just showing up as wanted by the, uh, the Sheriff's Department here. Um, her vehicle is, uh, is gone. Ah! My goodness. Her vehicle is gone. Um... I was going to be able to search that, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get her a uh, PT out here, That's prisoner transport. For a suspect placed under arrest in Mount Gordo. Copy that. All right, go on ahead and go get on the ground for me, ma'am. We're going to go ahead and hang out here for a second, and uh, better yet, let's go ahead and get her in the back of my patrol car. I don't know how long it's going to take to get a, uh, a unit out here to pick her up. Oh, okay. Whoa! Hey there. there they are. So basically, prisoner transport was having a hard time getting out here, but uh, looks like they just arrived, so... Looks like this young man here is going to go ahead and take Miss Hammer off to jail for uh, felony eluding the police. She uh, decided to take off on us on a traffic stop. She is, in fact, wanted by the LSSD, so... She's going to head on off to jail, and uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Code 9 that. We're going to be heading back to the station to continue our patrol. So at any rate, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to have to take my uh, patrol vehicle to the uh, car wash to get it cleaned up. <laughs> we're a little dirt. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. At any rate, guys, thank you guys for joining me for another patrol out here in the Blaine County area. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time.